Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to a new vlog. My hair is getting longer. I know you can tell, I can tell. It's fucking great. The hair supplements are working. Do you know what I want to do this morning? I just want to show you like my perfect Sunday morning routine or like what I love to do on a Sunday morning to just make me feel alive, make me feel relaxed, romanticize my life. And we are starting off with freezer almond croissants. One of my newest discoveries in my life. I don't know about you, but I have always been an almond croissant girly. But I never knew that Marks and Spencers did all butter almond and hazelnut croissants freezer version because I've told you before. I've told you before, we've had this discussion. Croissants from the freezer are the best croissants. Like, look at this. It's perfect and you bake it and it bakes into like a beautiful, fresh croissant every single time. Whereas sometimes when you get store-bought croissants, it's a gamble. Do you know what I mean? Unless you have like a reliable coffee shop that always does fresh croissants every morning, sometimes you can get a dodgy croissant and we all know the heartbreak that a dodgy croissant leaves. So freezer croissants solve that problem. And we're journaling this morning. Do I do this every morning? No. Let's not get false expectations here. I am not a journal every morning or every day kind of girly, but I do want to implement it more. And I think that's all we can aim for. We can't aim for perfection. We can just aim for consistency. I don't know. So we're gonna journal this morning. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, the last two, the last two weeks of my life have been a roller coaster between the eclipse in Scorpio, full moon eclipse, new moon eclipse, Mercury retrograde. There's just a lot going on in the planets and clearly it is affecting me. This week was awful. Like I didn't even vlog. Like I got a blow dry, I got my nails done. They were like the positives of the week. They were like my peaks, <laughs> my peaks of the week was my nails, look how stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing. My nail girl hits every single time without fail. I got my nails done, I got blow dry. They were the saving grace. They were my saving grace this week. This week, I had no creativity in my body. Like there was none, zip, zilch, zero. I had no creativity levels. They were on the floor. I wasn't inspired. I didn't want to do anything. I couldn't do anything. I didn't do my podcast. I didn't vlog, nothing. It was caused by many things, but one of the things that was caused by it was I have an ongoing issue with Apple. You may or may not remember my phone broke a few months ago and um, I wanted Apple to fix it. And it's almost 12 weeks later and I still don't have a result. Now it has been escalated and I don't want to talk about it anymore because I want to give Apple the benefit of the doubt and know that they're going to resolve everything. But if Apple don't resolve my issue, best believe you are getting a whole story time, the whole nine. Think like dramatic 10 part story time on everything that has happened since the 18th of February with Apple as a company, because I can't believe it personally. Um, I don't have an Apple store in my County, the closest Apple store in Ireland, which is so crazy to me. The closest Apple store is Belfast and that's not even in the Republic of Ireland. Not that I divide Ireland in that way, but I'm just saying there's no Apple store, which is so wild. So I couldn't go to an Apple store. I've spent, I'd say nearly 48 hours on the phone at this point, like honestly draining. And this week I'd say I spent 10 hours on the phone, at least maybe 12. So I had no creative energy in me. I was tired. I One of the days I woke up, my back was sore. I was like laying horizontal all day. So anyway, I didn't have a good week. So this Sunday, because I know last Sunday we did a Sunday reset and it was like we were cleaning and we were doing laundry and we were doing the thing. This Sunday, this Sunday is about like up here, like a mental reset. Like I want to get my creative juices flowing again. They kind of did start like slightly flowing yesterday. I want to do some self care. I want to go to the gym. I want to get a sun in. It looks like it's going to rain. I want to have a croissant. I want to chill. Do you know what I mean? 
So I am starting by journaling. Now I have two journals here. So in this journal, the love notes, this is my like love notes to the universe, if that makes sense. So everything I write in here is like what is happening. Do you know what I mean? Like what is going to happen in my life? It's like scripting, you know? So all the amazing things that are gonna happen, happen in that journal. And then in this journal, um, it's kind of like whatever I'm feeling. Sometimes it's scripting, sometimes it's manifesting. Sometimes it's just my thoughts and feelings. This is a paper blanks one. I got this on Amazon. I'll leave the link on my Amazon storefront. And then this journal is actually, um, uh, you know, those bullet, I think they're called bullet journals where they dotted journals. They have the dotted pages. And this is by Tara, Tara Mars. It's her brand Lover Sunday. So this is on her website. So I'll link both of them if you wanna copy me and get a cute journal. I love the way this one has a bookmark and it's also hardback and it like feels very regal and I don't know, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. One thing about me is every single morning I take a Lion's Mane supplement. Cheers. And listen, taking the lion's mane, it's essentially a mushroom, but a legal one. <laughs> it's lion's mane, you can Google it if you want. It has so many benefits. I just honestly love taking it. It's like really good for the brain. I think it creates neuro new neural pathways. It's like the only supplement that like actively creates new neural pathways in your brain. This is the book that I'm currently reading. If you have watched any vlogs before, you will know that Brian Weiss and his books are like one of my favorite things. I read a book called Only Love Is Real recently. Well, at Christmas time by him as well. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I think I'm about halfway through. I actually didn't mark where I was. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Didn't have a bookmark, didn't mark where I was. But anyways, it's just amazing. It's all about like past lives and future lives and immortality and the soul and what the soul wants and the soul's journey in this lifetime and this kind of stuff, this kind of stuff and astrology just hits so uniquely for me. So I'm going to read, I think I was like here. I just read a section and if I remember reading it, then I move forward and then if I don't remember reading it, I move backwards to where I remembered reading last. It's not a great system, but it works for me. All my book recommendations are on my Amazon storefront as well. I have, I'm such a book girly. I love a good book. Now, most of them are nonfiction, but I like these books because they're nonfiction, but they're not self-help because I think sometimes we can get in this like loop of self-help. We can get in this loop of consistently only listening to self-help books reading self-help books, listening to self-help podcasts, watching self-help content. And it can just, it, it's actually not good for your mindset because you're constantly telling yourself that you're not good enough and you need to do better by feeling the need to like grow all the time, if that makes sense. So I think sometimes it's good to like take a step back from like too much self-help content. If you find yourself overindulging in one type of thing, especially when that's self-help, it can really ingrain a narrative in your head that you always have to be doing more and being more and learning to be a better person and that you're not a good enough person. Of course, self-help is amazing and I'm such a self-help advocate. Sometimes I find that I get lost in this like self-help cycle where I'm listening to a self-help book on Audible. I'm listening to self-help podcasts with like really interesting people learning about business and learning about health and learning about things I can do better and my body, which is obviously amazing. And then I'm also reading physical self-help books and then taking in self-help content on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube as well. And I just feel like sometimes that's very overwhelming and you don't even realize it is because you're like learning all these new things. But subconsciously you can be like telling yourself that you, you can, self-help is amazing. And I think, you know, a lot of generations before us didn't have self-help, but I feel like as with everything in life, it's always, that's my croissant alarm, which is very exciting. Alexa, off. As with everything in life, there is a line. And I think sometimes it's nice 
because this book is non-fiction I love it because it's real stories but it's more stories it's not like you should do this to be a better person because this is what I've done to be a better person do you know what I mean do you know what I mean so if you feel like sometimes that you just want to get lost in a story or a book but you still want something non-fiction I do like all of Bride and Weiss's books basically I think my whole point about like self-help content in general is if you're always looking outward for someone else to tell you what to do, tell you how to live, tell you what decisions to make, tell you what's good, tell you what's bad, you lose your connection to your intuition and your inner voice and what is best for you. And I think sometimes we're over-reliant on searching for answers that are within ourselves. Okay, so we have our almond croissant. I'm going to, will I do a on camera taste test, even though I know exactly what this tastes. Actually, I want to have the rest of my water first. Mmm. It's just so good. Accompanied by, you already know, this is an ice cold, fresh out of the freezer can of White Monster. If it's not ice cold, it doesn't hit the same. If you wanted to try a white monster because you heard me talk about it and you got a lukewarm one, you'd be like, this girly is absolutely insane. What is wrong with her? You, ha It has to be ice cold. I don't make the rules. White monster does, allegedly. So I'm gonna read my book, have my croissant, have my white monster, and then we're gonna get ready for the gym. I've left the house, which is an achievement in itself. It's supposed to start raining at around five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a walk. And if the walk ends me up in the gym, amazing. If it doesn't, amazing. But I'm just gonna walk and see how I feel. To be honest, I don't know. I think we're gonna skip the gym today and I'm gonna get up tomorrow morning, gym first thing, sauna first thing, like start a new week with new energy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Um, it's not a Gorgina day. It is very cloudy, very grey. Apparently it's supposed to start raining at five. So we're gonna go grocery shopping. Me and you. Not for many groceries, but we're gonna go anyway. Oh, I need white monsters all. There's none left in my house. I ran out of this and I had an alternative barrier cream. And I tell you, nothing hits like this nothing i don't want to get this one though because it's kind of banged up so i shall get this one so i was just in boots and deals i got some water part of me is like the gym is very close will i go but they had no white monster in deals but my stomach kind of feels sore so i'm like will the white monster just make it worse who knows but i'm gonna go into tesco and hope it's not like seven euro if it's less than three euro i'll get it if it's more than three euro. I'm not paying for it. I'm sorry, I can't. I also just bought a four pack of White Monster for a fiver. It was 4.50 a few weeks ago, so. I love inflation. Oh, it's 2.35, okay. Okay, you convinced me. I said if it was below three. So I'm gonna get this, maybe a protein bar, and go do a workout. Okay, so these are my favorite things protein-wise. These chocolate brownie protein balls are so good but like they're 235 for literally one ball or these grenade i got my monster i'm drinking it the grenade protein bars because i haven't had protein today all i had was that almond croissant so this is my favorite flavor followed up by the white chocolate cookie is okay it's nicer like heated in the microwave um but this one is Georgina. So we're gonna have this. We're gonna have this and we're gonna go to the gym. Alright, so white monster in hand, protein bar eaten. I realized I don't have a hair bubble for the gym, but it's fine. We're just gonna go. We're gonna do 30 minutes of weights and then we're gonna walk home. We did it. I did it, you did nothing. So I started off with weights, but obviously because I'm due my period in the next like two or three days, you're not like as strong as you usually are. So I started off with weights, but they were just feeling 
so heavy I just did legs and back yeah legs and back and then I went upstairs to do 12 3 30 but the treadmills were taken so I actually went on the stationary bike which I never do and I went on the stationary bike for like 15 minutes and like put the resistance up really high so I still felt it in my legs so I'm happy I went to the gym I had the endorphins are pumping on my body I got a good sweat on um, I know my face doesn't look it but I am dripping in sweat like my back and everything do I get the 5% fat 500 grams for 550 the 5% fat 700 grams for 650 or the 700 grams 10% fat for 550 I think which one looks more red as I told you my mince needs to be red like I think this one looks okay though I'm about 15 minutes from home and it just started raining I'm not happy oh my god oh my god my heart I was like where are my sunglasses they're in my pocket it wasn't supposed to start raining till five now luckily the hood covers the hair because I got a blow dry on Friday and my blow dry is definitely I get five days out of them um this is inconvenient to say the least but uh do you know what we're getting the steps in and we went to the gym and skin is actually waterproof did you know that and I'm going into the shower and I go home anyway actually a drowned rat like the hoodie is soaked it's like proper raining but it's like that summer humid rain which we don't love but anyway I'm going to show you what I got in Dunn's I got water this is a new find of snacks it is elite it is I think I showed this in my last vlog it's honey and sea salt popcorn and that's going to be my snack tonight when I'm watching a movie of course I got the mince which I'm now going to cook for the lasagna I'm going to cook the mince and go up and shower and stuff while the mince is like simmering and then when I come back down I'll like construct the lasagna I also got four cans of monster for a fiver bargain because I was out of monster and we are not starting a new week by paying extortionate prices for monster I also got ricotta I was looking for this for the lasagna yesterday I couldn't find it um, I read you can like substitute either cream cheese or sour cream or whatever or mozzarella but I wanted to get ricotta for the lasagna so I did I also got sparkling water which no I'm not a sparkling water girly but I have started taking um, clear whey and the secret to clear whey is sparkling water so you put a little bit of sparkling water in and it just kind of gets that like grit out of it I don't know right so let's make the lasagna have a shower chill out and continue this gorgeous Sunday I was tested there for a while, but we went up for a walk, we went to the gym, we got soaked, and now we cooked the lasagna. Hi. Camera ran out of memory, but basically the lasagna is made. I made my own ricotta mixture. I made some bechamel. I don't think you have to use both, but I did. And I've actually never made a lasagna with ricotta. Usually I just do the bechamel, but today I was feeling fancy. So this is what it's looking like from the outside. You can see that ricotta in the middle. So I'm gonna cover this with tin foil, put it in for like 30 minutes, and then take it off so the top can just get lovely and bubbly and crusty. And we will see what it looks like. And also we have to clean this kitchen. Yay. Oh, also, while I was eating, I had, um, or while I was cooking, I had raw carrots. So raw carrots are my newest thing because allegedly they help with excess estrogen. And obviously when you're a woman, you can have extra, extra, no, excess estrogen in your body. So I literally put raw carrots in a bowl, put a little bit of olive oil on them, honey and sea salt, and they're actually delicious. So I was snacking on them. Anyway, time to clean, shower, get into my skims, and I will update you when the lasagna is ready. See? She actually hates me. Anyway, I made the place cozy, even though it's like 7 p.m. and still bright outside, which is slightly ruining the vibes, but the door is open because it's roasting. I'm actually incredibly 
incredibly warm right now. I think it's from all the cooking. Also, I haven't worn my hair in a ponytail in so long. I feel like I look weird. But um, the lasagna is just finishing. It's in for the last 10 minutes. You know when the lasagna goes in for the last 10 minutes to get like all crispy on the top and all the cheese like melty and like a crust. I know some people put breadcrumbs on their lasagna, but I do not. But yeah, I'm sitting down, I'm in my skims. I'm not in my pajamas, I'm in my skims like full gray tracksuit. I had a gorgeous shower, moisturized my body head to toe. It's been a really lovely Sunday. I know it was supposed to be a morning routine, but it is now 7 p.m. Okay, listen though, like what a perfectly portioned slice. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try it. Uh. It is the moment of truth. We have the lasagna. It actually looks perfect. Like did a restaurant cook this? Maybe it's very hot, but let's just see how I did. I know I did amazing. I mean, Lexi's right up next to me wanting to That is so good. Anyways, I'm gonna go enjoy my dinner. Thanks for watching the vlog. Don't forget to comment, please. We love some interaction. Thumbs up the video, don't forget to subscribe. Share this on your Instagram story if you're feeling generous. If you're watching me on a TV and you can't comment, then just take a picture of me. Just make sure I look good. Okay, thank you, goodbye.